everyone and welcome to CRMB. This is Crumbs Big Shop. It is now bankrupt and I'm doing a video on this. I've never traded this in my life but I'm doing a video on this because I think it's very important for people to learn from something like this. Oops. Now I don't trade penny stocks. I've never traded penny stocks. People have tried to talk me into trading penny stocks, have been wanting me to trade penny stocks. At one point this was not a penny stock. Um, it did go over a dollar at one point and it was back worth a little bit more up in here but it's been a penny stock now for a while and I and I really have never been convinced to trade stocks like this I know that there's people out there that <laughs> say that they're making money trading penny stocks I don't I don't know if they are I don't know those people uh, but I do know that I have just no conviction in trading penny stocks. Like I can't press the button. And when I've had people talk to me about it and say this looks good, that looks good, or this thing or that thing or the other thing, I just can't press the button. I can't press the button with anything. I just can't. I cannot press it. I just have no conviction in doing something like this. I think part of it is my experience trading real full-on, full-fledged stocks in the stock market that have volume, volatility, and, and a good, decent strike race, which I'm talking about is really anything over five dollars okay and from a range of five to seventy five bucks which is usually around where I'm playing but even before like when I first first started out I, I couldn't be convinced to do these I couldn't be convinced to do these and then as I got into trading real real stocks uh, and some of these penny stocks have volume so it's not even the volume it's the it's the cost. It's the cost. It's it's this right here. It's exactly this thing right at this moment. If you own this stock, the CRMB, you you're out to lunch. You will you just took the loss, and there's nothing that you can do about it. You can't add to the position to make it better. You can't do anything if you had any size in this. If you were in it at all, you just it's it's done now. It's been delisted uh, from the stock market, and it just happened the other day or a couple days ago. And uh, it's over for this thing. And uh, it's one of these things where I think that it's a good lesson for people. I, I can't, with, with any level of conviction, tell people to even investigate trading penny stocks. I just feel like you shouldn't do it. I mean, that's my belief system. And it's my belief system because I can't do it. And if I can't do something, then I can't advise people to do it. And I only teach what I do, what I train. So I'll only ever teach or advise people on what I know with 100% conviction and from experience. And I can say that I've seen too many of these things do exactly what this has done for various different reasons, okay? And, you know, this is just the reason for this thing. But I think that trading stocks that have no value is and trying to make money day trading or trying to hold them to make any money is, is a beyond... What's the word? Beyond speculation. It like takes it to a whole new level where it's actually, I think, doesn't even make any sense to do it. And when you trade in the stock market, there is a level of speculation with that because you are taking risk without knowing the exact outcome. Okay. And that's that's what trading is. And you will always be in that position with the market if you trade, whether you're day or core swing trade. But I think doing these things here is a level of beyond speculation where I think it's extreme high risk that it doesn't make sense to do. I just don't think it's a smart or wise thing to do. And uh, and I know there's a lot of places out there that talk about trading penny stocks and love penny stocks and make all this money in penny stocks. Again, I don't know any of those people to say it with all certainty. But I know in the experience I've had just in six years trading the market that the best chance to make money and profit as a trader is in stuff that is moving, has volume, and is worth something. And uh, and has potential, uh, has potential in either direction, whether you buy it or short it, and that people have a serious interest in. And the problem is here, there's just not enough interest garnered in these stocks at this price point for people to fully, full-on invest in them that uh, have institutions. Because institutions have a big bankrolls and lots of money. And why would they ever decide to invest heavily in something like this? So you're just not going to get the same kind of play or substantiation or movement and something that doesn't have the institutions in with them, uh, which this, which, which is just obviously didn't. So this is a goner here, and it's one uh, probably of a, of many 
And, and the danger is that if you decided you bought this, you're like, I'm just going to buy this. It can't go any lower. Wrong. Though. It can go lower. Something can always go lower and something can always go higher. And uh, you actually could have even tracked the gaps on this. But you just, I just find that doing these things is, uh, is just not where I want to be. I've just, I've just never had any conviction in never trading these. Never. Not, not at the time when I started. Not at the time now. Not at the time when I was figuring stuff out and was like, you know, wanted a million dollar trade. Never, never could press the button in these and just will never do it. So it's a lesson to be learned here with the CRMB. It's done, it's delisted, just recently happened. And uh, I, I'd really, really, really be careful if you choose to trade these penny stocks. And I know what happens is people do them because the buying power is cheap. And they do them then with the amount of money, whatever that they have. And they take the position, and then they take a large position. And then if it moves a little, then they could make $1,000 or whatever. But it's just, I feel that it's too risky. And uh, here's a great example right here. This previous day's close on this was 590000 That's not That's not even a sneeze of a volume. That's real volume in it. But how can you do something like this? Where's the play in it? You know, Where's the payoff, I guess? Remember, risk to reward is, is more than just having something where you get in the trade and it moves this many dollars per the dollar that you risk. Risk to reward means uh, it's worth you taking the risk for you to make money. It's not worth you taking the risk for somebody with a chance. It could, it could be bankrupt the next day or go out of business where it's so close to next to nothing where it's almost worthless, basically. So good one here to look at and study and just a little tip of the day. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great afternoon, everybody. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, July 12th and 13th. If you'd like more information, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Just my two cents here. I don't think there's any way to make millions of dollars trading penny stocks. I think it's very, very high risk. It's a level beyond speculation. I think speculation is good when you have something called calculated risk involved. But these things are just something I'm never going to do. And that's the scoop. Have a great day, everybody.